Yeah. What I really loved about the film is that the nuke, <laughs> the nuke is not really the crescendo of the film. I mean, it is in a weird thematic way, but it's really just about um, Oppenheimer's life and the amount of existential angst that you're gonna have to carry on your shoulders knowing that you're taking a step in the direction of technology that will end the human race. <laughs> um, there's a, uh, they play this in the trailers where you, where you hear this theme, it sounds like, sounds like a train chugging, this it kind of speeds up. And this, like this, I, I wouldn't want to know before going in. So just putting that in mind. But they use this this theme of the train chugging multiple ways. And it's not like, just like, okay, once this has begun, it's a race and someone's gonna get to it first. It's something that can't be stopped. In certain points of the film, it's also used as kind of like a, a metaphor to the way the nuclear bomb works in general, that it's this chain reaction that spirals out of control and I don't know, I don't know, fucking nuclear physics. But, and then one of my favorite parts, and this is kind of the most surprising, is when those footsteps, or when the train sound effect, or whatever it is, is used to symbolize fascism, and these slow steps coming closer and closer, and that it's unavoidable that at some point in the future, America will be the bad guys, you know? And the, the scene that this first happens, and that this revelation first occurs in, is so chilling and terrifying and for me it was one of the uh, the highlights of the film <laughs> you know when he's like looking he looks on and realizes that one day we're going to become the fascists and that's just going to be just the inevitable, inevitable course of things and the word fashion has an interesting word origin it means to bundle to bundle together to wrap together and it's uh, an italian word and it's used for your, when you're putting sticks together like a fire and it's interesting because that's always like the analogy people use that usually in a in a positive context, like you would like with a family. You know what I mean? We're stronger in a group of sticks than you used to have the one. I feel like that's always shown in different you know cheesy aspects of movies, but it's true. But the word fascism, <laughs> well, yeah, it's just that it means to bind together. And so in a fascist state, you have media the citizens, the education system, and the corporate world, the big government, all combined and bundled into one. And then that force has the power to smack down anyone who wants to stand against it. Yeah, and that idea gives me incredible amounts of angst all the time, by the way. <laughs> Another thing this film does well, and it's not even necessarily the film, it's just the world, because the things that I'm talking about are part of the true story. His life was, incredibly weirdly archetypal from the beginning. And you know, he has to deal with the fact that even this person who, you know, he, he, he can't even trust himself with this technology because he knows that deep down he has done some fucked up and weird shit before. And now I'm giving this to mankind. And you know, his life has an element of original sin that's like very interesting. Performances were fantastic. I also think the film did a very good job at showing the different dark and light motivations that people can have. There's someone like Oppenheimer who's motivated by visions of the apocalypse, trying to forestall the apocalypse, probably makes it worse. Then there are people whose job it is to, you know, uplift the world, and they, they're really just using lies and deceit to achieve power, and that's fun. And then there are people who, you know, really don't give a fuck what people think about them. They just have like a weird autistic bend towards the truth. and. You know, uh, that last one is my favorite one. But man, I don't think I've ever been that anxious sitting in a three hour film. Um, and not just because you're thinking like, oh my God, like Russia could nuke us at any moment just because someone loses their mind a little bit. And why are we in, in a position where that's a thing? Um, <laughs> by the way, unpopular opinion. Um, this Ukraine war is going to be looked at like the Iraq war was today in the future. Um, unpopular opinion. When you know some, some very near background, it be becomes clear that this war has been like, what, like at least 14 years in the making, probably since the Cold War in a way, America just never dropped it and now wants to put nukes 
on Russia's border. Like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, going around to stabilize the nations has always worked well for us, hasn't it? Oh, but we just want it because we want, because we want to put a democracy there. Because we care about doing that equally in every place that we go to. That's the truth. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, uh, I digress. I was, probably pl I was probably playing it down in the beginning of how much I enjoyed this film. I think it's Christopher Nolan's deepest film. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. Anyways.